hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to talk about how to set up your local development environment in windows when it's come to php development uh, mainly we need the three softwares uh, first one is uh, we need a local server we can use apache as a local server and we need a php installation and also we need a mysql uh, installation uh, because we need to use a database as well uh, there's a several uh, options uh, with the uh, to install these softwares that mean we can use uh, vamp package installer or even we can use xvamp package installer here i'm going to install uh, xvamp uh, with this tutorial and let's uh, and also i'm expecting to give you a brief introduction about how to do the configurations where are the configuration files available and what are the configurations we can do and also i'm expecting to have, give you a, a, about some uh, ide uh, examples what kind of ide can be used for the software uh, php software developments okay uh, enough talking let's uh, move to the practical example let's uh, first we da download the uh, xvamp package I will open my browser and let's uh, go to xvamp yeah, xvamp uh, download for windows 10 because i am using windows 10 yeah let's navigate to xvamp download page apache friend org uh, website within the this uh, we you can see we have several options it will provide uh, php uh, that means several versions actually uh, linux uh, here we can have a windows uh, xvam installer and uh, for we, linux also we have and uh, mac os uh, also we have uh, let's select our uh, we are going to install uh, with this uh, P windows then we need to use uh, windows installer and within the windows installer you can see there is several uh, versions that means within these uh, versions we can we can see that we have a php 7.3 and php 7.4 and php 8 uh, yeah i'm planning to use php 7.4 for now uh, because it is uh, the stable version uh, at right now let's download this uh, uh, package uh, let's click the downloader okay our download is completed let's go to our download folder here we have installer let's double click on it okay uh, here we have a uh, xvamp installation window uh, let's uh, go uh, move to for move forward and let's click the next button and with this window you can see available softwares within this package uh, we have some extras as well, uh, but we need actually we need only Apache and PHP and MySQL and my uh, PHP my admin those software is the mandatory software to continue this tutorial uh, Other software you can if you want you can uncheck, but uh, here I'm going to keep uh, uh, Selected because uh, I need those softwares if you think you don't need then you can uncheck these things okay let's uh, move to next window okay uh, within this uh, window we can select uh, where we want to install this xvam uh, it will uh, by default it will select the c drive within this xvam folder it will create another folder structure that means we have a lot of softwares that mean uh, some extras as well then those uh, con uh, configurations are available within this folder structure and uh, php uh, mysql apache those uh, configurations files and our root folder also uh, placed in within this uh, folder and yeah i am not going to change anything in here okay i will click next okay here we can select our uh, language i'm keep as it is uh, here we can uh, we, as you can see here we can install uh, Moodle, Joomla, WordPress uh, those kind of uh, software 
and uh, yeah I will uh, keep uh, as uh, default let's go to next okay now it's ready to go and uh, let's click the next button again yeah now it's start the installation process uh, it will take uh, time to install uh, these uh, softwares okay uh, we have completed our installation process let's uh, click the finish button now uh, we have uh, we have already set up our local development environment here as you can see you can see the control panel with the XWAM here with the uh, XWAM control panel you can uh, uh, do the uh, that means you can start Apache you can start MySQL and FileZilla server and Mercury and Tomcat server likewise you can do the configuration of uh, those uh, uh, softwares and yeah let's uh, check the let's check our local um, that mean our driver that mean folders here we install this uh, within the uh, c drive xwamp folder we install the install location here as you can see uh, there's a lot of uh, folders and files here uh, if you go to apache it will have Apache uh, uh, file structure. He, within uh, this structure, you can see Apache bin folder, and uh, where we are going to do uh, keep our DLL files and also uh, config uh, con file. Uh, within this con file, we can do the Apache configurations with this uh, HTTP config is the apache config file and within the extras we can use uh, vhost uh, that mean virtual host and there are several other configuration files as well uh, yeah mm, let's uh, go to uh, and also we have uh, htdoc file htdocs means it is the our uh, web root uh, that means web root means when we go to when we, uh, first we start our Apache, okay, we started our Apache. Let's go to the browser. Let's type uh, localhost. Host. As you can see, it will uh, go to dashboard uh, uh, dashboard folder, and let it show our uh, it show Apache uh, dashboard. Uh, Xwamp actually Xwamp uh, Apache dashboard. Uh, let's check the our root. Uh, okay, root uh, root means that when we uh, type the local host, it will go to uh, this folder. Within this folder, you can see dashboard. Within the dashboard, we have index uh, file. Uh, this index file is the now we currently see this that index file. Here, if you type uh, index.php. Oh, sorry, not the PHP. It's actually HTML. HTML. You can see uh, same uh, uh, same uh, page again. Uh, that means uh, we navigate to this uh, file once we uh, type the local host. Uh, it is uh, this is htdoc is the our root folder. When we creating a new uh, project or something, we can use this folder. Uh, that means uh, as you exa as example if you need to create uh, let's say project one uh, project one uh, and we can uh, add a page call because always uh, it is uh, we need to name as our uh, home page otherwise index page as a index it will automatically uh, uh, that means server can automatically capture this index file and it will uh, serve the index file when uh, user request our uh, website let's say index.html okay now uh, I think we have view uh, oops okay uh, we have to rename this as index.html yes Okay, and uh, let's add some uh, uh, open with. Uh, is there any text editor? 
okay let's uh, rename this okay i will rename this as a text again because i need to open this edit okay i will add the uh, php tag to here sorry html tag to here h1 mm. hi it's it's me your your index page h1 okay now let's uh, rename this to html yes now we can uh, navigate to this uh, like this project one for slash you can see our index page automatically uh, capture from the server that means it uh, read uh, if you not mention the uh, uh, file name that means like index dot uh, html it is the file name if we not uh, mention that file name then it will uh, get the index uh, whatever if we name as a index then it will take that file uh, yeah this is the uh, our root uh, folder and uh, uh, that is how it's work um, uh, this is our root folder and also let's go uh, here another uh, useful okay here mysql folder that mysql folder keeps uh, mysql related configurations and data uh, bases those uh, things are hosted within this uh, folder uh, within uh, there is a bin folder and uh, yeah that is the mysql uh, folder then uh, i'm not going to uh, here we have a php folder as well within this php folder we have extension directory this extension directory is really important because if we need to load the uh, new extensions we need we have to copy that extension to this folder and we need to give the configure we need to set up the configurations here as you can see uh, our uh, we have uh, uh, let's say uh, okay uh, here we have a php ini file this is the uh, php uh, configuration information keep within this uh, uh, file uh, if you open that uh, you can see uh, php uh, configuration file uh, like this uh, you can open uh, i uh, i think uh, that is the main uh, uh, folders we need to talk uh, yeah and uh, you can uh, open uh, configurations i will uh, go with this uh, control panel uh, within this control panel you can see uh, there is uh, it will uh, list down the software available for you here we have apache we already started that uh, apache uh, software and you can uh, uh, stop any time you want and you can start uh, mysql if you need uh, only one uh, with the mysql you can start from like this and you can start apache you can um, likewise you can start any 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 kind of uh, software using this uh, control panel and about the configurations if you need to change something uh, related to configure about the apache configurations you can select anything uh, from here you can if you need to do uh, changes within the php ini you can just click on this and it will open the php ini file you can uh, change anything and you can save it and uh, you uh, can start the uh, uh, server and here you have apache ht config and you can do uh, any configuration um, okay you uh, likewise you can do uh, configuration using this config uh, buttons links here we have a logs and we can uh, check the uh, apache server access logs these logs are really important when you when it's come to a live environment or something that means production environment because uh, using logs we capture errors we uh, we we find uh, is there any unnecessary um, that mean uh, unwanted things happen or likewise we can uh, trace those things using the uh, logs here we have error logs 
and uh, server related error logs and php error logs uh, both are there we can check uh, using uh, this link and also regarding mysql we have a mysql error log uh, yeah and also we have config uh, uh, configure we can set the uh, any any configuration from here as well and also uh, we have a shell you can uh, run within the shell uh, any um, uh, xamp related uh, configure uh, commands and there is a file explorer as well uh, that we it will navigate to this xamp uh, install uh, folder installation here uh, once you uh, type this uh, localhost project one and hit enter it will um, uh, goes to uh, apache server if you like say if we uh, first uh, if we enter the localhost it will goes to uh, http uh, because it is http request it goes to uh, apache server apache server know how to handle it actually uh, here i think we have a redirection uh, code uh, let's go to exam okay yeah now we are in the root folder because once we hit this uh, once we clear, uh, type the localhost and uh, hit enter it will go to this root folder within this this root folder you can see there is a index php file uh, it's it it uh, uh, actually uh, the it will uh, comes to this uh, folder and it will take this uh, file uh, within this file i think within this file we have something yeah uh, yeah within this file as you can see it will uh, redirect uh, to uh, location to uh, dashboard that mean uh, it will that's why it's uh, once we enter local hosts local host it uh, automatically redirect to this dashboard that's why it's redirecting uh, otherwise it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, if we let's say if we uh, edit this if we uh, edit this uh, if we remove this and save let's try uh, sorry uh, let's try uh, open the localhost now you can see it will uh, getting uh, something went wrong that because uh, it says this message something went wrong that's why otherwise uh, we can do anything that mean uh, with the localhost and uh, also within within the next uh, tutorial i will uh, cover how to create a virtual host how these things are working likewise with this tutorial i'm uh, only explaining how to install xwamp and xwamp folder structure and uh, those kind of uh, some information and here and also i would like to uh, talk about the uh, code editing tools um, actually now nowadays it uh, most of the developers use uh, vs code uh, vs code uh, software uh, but uh, there's a lot of uh, softwares we can use for php developments as example uh, let's say uh, php uh, development id is You can see there is a lot of uh, PHP IDEs available for uh, PHP developments. But uh, the thing is, uh, with this VS Code, uh, it will uh, really lightweight uh, software, and we have a lot of extensions and uh, free extensions. I highly recommend the VS Code uh, software to use uh, so this uh, PHP developments. Uh, you can select uh, according to your uh, choice and uh, i'm i'm here i'm installed uh, vs code uh, let's download the vs code okay let's click the download uh, okay uh, with this uh, download page you can have uh, several uh, uh, options that means you can uh, have a windows installer and linux installer and mac installer here we are going with the windows uh, let's click on the windows installer it will start the downloading uh, okay uh, now our download uh, is completed let's go to the download folder okay uh, let's run the vs code exe file 
let's click the run okay uh, let's click the accept and click the next and install the c drive and uh, visual studio code okay let's yeah let's install okay now almost done uh, let's go to vs code okay our new vs code uh, software is available now let's open uh, folder click open folder I will navigate to our HD doc uh, via the root directory, our server root directory. And within, uh, you can uh, see that my project one folder is there. I will open this folder. And, uh, okay. Okay, now we have uh, our index file as you can see let's uh, change this to index.php rename let's say index.php now we have a php file let's uh, let's uh, try to run php uh, echo php info let's check uh, php install or uh, installation uh, information uh, I will echo the PHP info. Let's go to the. Okay, let's uh, run this with the uh, check with the browser. Let's type uh, localhost slash project one. Let's see index. Okay, uh, with this PHP info file, as you can see here, we have a PHP uh, current version information, and also uh, we have a PHP configuration file. Uh, uh, location information likewise we have a, a lot of information with the PHP installation that means uh, what are the packages what are the um, extensions we use and likewise there's a lot of information with uh, this uh, PHP uh, info page uh, and also I need to talk uh, I need to uh, talk about uh, MySQL uh, MySQL as well here, once we go to the dashboard, we have uh, there is an application and uh, there are a lot of here we can have the PHP info <clears throat> info page access, and uh, here we have uh, PHP MyAdmin uh, uh, access. Within the PHP MyAdmin, we can manage MySQL databases. Uh, we can use PHP MyAdmin to manage those uh, databases. When we developing application, always we need to uh, have this kind of uh, tool to uh, manage the MySQL databases. Here you can see it will have some default databases, and yeah, uh, this is you can using this link uh, using this uh, path you can manage the uh, MySQL uh, database information. I hope now I have covered everything uh, what I expected within these videos and uh, yeah uh, we done uh, php uh, package installations and also uh, we uh, uh, understood uh, understand how to navigate the configuration files and also uh, we uh, install vs code and also we uh, open the our php my admin now uh, we have uh, uh, fully qualified uh, uh, local uh, e environment setup now we need to uh, do the some examples let's meet with the next videos uh, thank you very much for watching my videos